Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode 3 of season 3 of the Achieve and Leave series. We're here at Borussia Dortmund, of course. We started the league season in the last episode and made a couple of big signings. One of which is set to make his debut today. Hyungmin Son is our starting striker now here at the club. And we hope that he will hit the ground running back in Germany after previously playing in the Bundesliga earlier in his career. Lorenzo Insigne has made an indifferent start to his season or to his time here at Borussia Dortmund. Not set the world alight immediately. But I'm hoping that uh, we'll be able to get a better initial start from Hyungmin Son, although Insigne does have an average rating of 7 over the course of those two games, so he's not been the worst, we just haven't, to be fair as a team, we haven't been the best, we got a win against Fortuna Dusseldorf, sorry, a draw against Dusseldorf and then beat Schalke by a goal to nil, so we haven't yet hit our goal scoring run, so I'm waiting for that to happen and for everything to come to life basically, we were able to uh, also sign Edwards for centre back on loan, did I get my loan or did I buy him? Uh, I, I bought him, didn't I? I bought Edwards. We tried to loan Wagner and Wagner rejected the opportunity of, uh, of coming to us again. So we've, uh, we've won three deals. We've failed at one. Again, Wagner rejected me last season at Atletico Madrid as well. We start the Champions League today with games against Molder and Juventus. I'm going to play the first game against Wolfsburg. So having a decent start to the season. And I'm going to play the last game of the month against Juventus. I haven't yet decided which other game I'm going to play. So we'll wait and see. I'll sim Mulder and then we'll have a look at the league table and see which of the remaining three teams that we have in the Bundesliga games probably you know, offers up the sternest test. And then uh, I'll decide from there which one we play. But we're going to start with the game against Wolfsburg and hopefully... Get ourselves up towards the top of the table. Do drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. Of course, later on today, there will be a career mode RTG video. Jose Maria Jimenez injured himself, but hopefully that was, wasn't was quite uh, within a time frame of allowing him to be at full fitness for this game against Wolfsburg. I will take him out uh, of the starting lineup for this game then. And uh, we'll throw Edwards in. In fact, in his place. Right then, starting with Wolfsburg at home. Let's see if we can get Human Son a goal on debut. Caldara so picked off by Semedo, but the touch is poor. And Caldara fails to get on. Nelson Semedo is trying his hardest, absolute hardest, to get an interception on the, any of those passes and then keep the ball at his feet. Unfortunately, he couldn't do it. Led to a chance on goal for uh, for Wolfsburg, but thankfully for us, it was pretty tame and comfortable enough for Berkey. Oh, if Royce had cut that out, or Witzel's touch had been better, we might have been able to catch him up on a brutal counter. Here's Roussillon into the middle. It's a decent delivery, and Guerrero has the head behind for a Wolfsburg corner. We're on the back foot at the beginning of this game. We won't find things as straightforward this year with Dortmund in the Bundesliga as we did with Atletico Madrid or Chelsea in the Premier League, I believe. I think this will be a harder season with regards trying to win the league title than we found in either of our previous two seasons at different clubs. But I may be mistaken in that assumption and we might come the end of the season once we've properly clicked with this Dortmund side actually find ourselves dominating the league scene again. But evidence thus far has shown at least on the surface, that it's actually going to be quite a tough season to compete at the very top domestically. 23 minutes in, it's Wolfsburg nil, Dortmund nil, and they have certainly had the better of the play. It's all. Jason Sancho around the corner there to Semedo. Royce is making moves. Good touch and turn from him. Oh, look for Hume Son. Out of his feet. Son! Oh, off the top of the bar. That was the closest we've come to a goal so far. Hyungmin Son with a great strike that just unfortunately kept rising. Rose even sharper once it struck the bar. Over the top. Roussillon inside to Sanson to Roussillon again. Gets the ball in. Headed away by Edwards but only for a Wolfsburg corner. Still the blue wave continues. Lo Celso will deliver and deliver well actually. Good punch by Burki. Son can't get there. Touched by the so he's decent. I nearly caught him there. That would certainly have been a penalty. Thankfully, Berkey holds on at the near post. 
still trying to get myself in front in this game, but still holding on to my clean to my clean sheet. I may have hit the bar, but that's my only real chance. And they've had a number in this game so far. And thankfully, they aren't going to get one more at that particular occasion because we somehow scrambled the ball away. And Son's made a good run, so I'll slot him in down this left-hand side. Guerrero down the line there looking for Lorenzo Insigne. Inside to Royce. And he's turned well and sets up Bitzel. Probably should have used the right-back first there before going to Sancho, but... Squeeze that in there to Marco Royce again. And here comes Thomas Delaney from deep. Could be dangerous. Looking for Son again. Good turn. Back to Delaney. Oh, that is wayward from the Dane. Really not good enough at all. A little bit more creative at the beginning of the second half, though. Gives me a little bit of promise that we might still be able to get a win out of this game. De Jong to Gerard. De Jong to Moreno again. Good save by Burki. Half an hour to play. Still nil-nil here. They're making a change, Wolfsburg. Burki's made five saves so far in this game. And Wolfsburg haven't been called upon with regards to their goalkeeper because I've hit the bar. Not really done much else. Bracalo has come on for Luke de Jong. Really not having the best of times of things in front of goal here at Dortmund thus far in our career. Hoping that Jaden Sancho can keep up with play. But... We might find... Oh, Hyungmin Son, which we very nearly did. Jaden Sancho takes that and he strides well. And strikes. Castile's finally forced into a save. And that will be a throw for us by the corner flag, not a corner itself. Royce has come short, so we will use Marco. Help that on there to Guerrero. And then here's Delaney. He had a wayward shot earlier. That one was better struck, but blocked by Caldara. And it will be a corner this time on the far side. Royce to deliver. That's a good ball. And up with the header. Oh, powerful stuff. I'm not sure who it was. Was it a Kanji? It was. The Swiss centre-back with a pile driver of a header. Rose very well indeed. And thumped that home. Look at the leap. Great header. We are in front at last at home against Wolfsburg. Is Roussillon looking over the top when that header? I haven't. Ricardo did, but Guerrero hacks clear. Under pressure at the end of the game as Wolfsburg continue to push for that equaliser. Witzel tries to get that away, and that might be the tackle that sees us win the game. There's just two minutes added on at the end here, and I don't think there's going to be enough time for either side to create an attack. I've given the ball away. There might still be time, but I fancy the Kanji to win that header, and he's done so well, and we do get the win. Thanks to Akanji's header from the set piece. Having to rely on a corner to win this game. Open play, not quite fortuitous enough for us. Or fruitful enough for us. Striking the bar, though, with Hingman Son. Decent game for him up top. I'm happy enough with a 1-0 victory. Up next for us is Champions League against Mulder, but we will be simulating that. Right, I'm going to be simulating the game against Mulder with a rotated side. You can see it on your screen there. It's basically a full rotated 11 from my starting. At the minute, Delaney is in there as well because of the injury to Ducouré, but... We certainly should be strong enough with that 11 to get a victory here away from home against Mulder. And fingers crossed we can start the Champions League campaign with a victory. They clearly, as the previous results a moment ago showed, got through on away goals to this stage of the competition with a 1-1 and a 2-2 draw. So clearly 1-1 at home and 2-2 away. And Edwards gives us an away goal here. Although, of course, away goals don't count in the group stage, but it's still a 1-0 lead regardless. And with 20 minutes to go, we still have that 1-0 lead intact. 10 minutes to go. We're on course for a win. No, we're not. Because Strand has equalised with three minutes to go. It's a draw in our first Champions League game of the season. We are second in the league, however, after three games with two wins and a draw. So I'm very happy with that. Royce wants to play, and indeed he will in the next, in the next game as we'll play our starting full-strength 11 again. Question is... Which of the games against Werder Bremen, Hanover and Hertha Berlin do I play and which do I simulate? Thinking of playing Hanover, and to be fair, with Werder Bremen and Hertha Berlin both in the bottom two, I think the game against Hanover should be the one that we play, considering they appear to be the one that might give us the toughest test. So we saw simulate Bremen. They lost 3-0 to Wolfsburg, 2-1 to Borussia Mönchengladbach, and Gladbach, and drew on the opening day. So that's where their first point came from. But the first goal of the game is a penalty through Marco Royce. After just 11 minutes, although Caprari has pulled that back. But then Royce gets his second of the game 10 minutes before the break. And Sancho makes it three on the brink of half-time. Wolf for Insigne just after half-time. Again, 
showing that uh, Insigne's stamina levels aren't quite as we hoped they'd be. But we are 5-1 up. Two goals in a minute. Son and Wolf, both in the 69th minute. Make your own jokes. We're able to get ourselves a victory and a strong victory at that to give us top of the table status after four games. Still no sign of Bayern Munich in the top half. They are 11th with two wins and two draws after four games. We are joint top with 10 points, but a game in hand on Bayer Leverkusen. But we shall now play against Hanover. And then we'll sim the game against Hertha Berlin and play Juventus at the end of the episode. Let's keep the run going. Semedo. Oh, great ball for Jaden Sancho to run onto. He's on his own here, so I'm going to have to go solo. And Svila makes the save. We'll leave that with Insigne. We'll save his stamina. That was such a great breakaway. And unfortunately, we haven't been able to score from it. Witzel could shoot here from the edge of the box. I don't know what his long shots are like. We need to find out is to try it. And I won't be trying it again. Witzel. Out to Jaden Sancho. There's Royce. Son. Oh, it's a great ball by Royce. That's not where I envisaged the pass going, but that was all about the pass from Marco Royce. I envisaged him playing the ball to the left-hand side of the defender just through the channel for Son to run onto, but he's played it with the outside of his left foot around the defender for the South Korean to sprint onto. That is outrageous from Marco Royce. Brilliant assist. Top finish too. Son is off the mark with his Borussia Dortmund record. It says he's his second goal in the Bundesliga. He scored, of course, in the last game in a simulated one. But with me, he's off the mark. Two goals and counting for Hyun Ming Son in a Borussia Dortmund shirt. And hopefully, we'll be counting for quite a while this season. 1-0 against Hanover 96. Guerrero over the top to Insigne. Left on his own there. Criminal defending from Hanover. You can't be doing things like that. And Royce again. Oh, Marco Royce and Hume Min Son have quite the partnership. Oh, tried to celebrate together with them. It's Insigne that wrestles Hume Min Son to the ground. Another expert assist from Marco Royce. Again, the other side of the defender and then the pace of Son is enough. That five-star weak foot comes in handy. His second of the game, his third of the season. We're dominating Hanover now. And unfortunately for them... They're the lowest scoring side in the league. So things don't look good for them with regards to getting back into this fixture. If Barrios will find Bebu here, but he's passed it straight to my defender. It's Bebu out wide to Barrios. It's a nice one too. And Bebu's in behind and he's turned brilliantly actually. Oh, if I get unlucky there, what a block by Jose Maria Jimenez. Out. Oh, really? You're going to throw that to him? Unbelievable defending from the Uruguayan. He's there to head that away as well. I can't believe Berkey's just bowled that straight to Bebu when clearly all he needs to do was overarm it to the defender. It would have reached. He's still pressing me here. And Hrugota with a turn. Berkey makes the save. It is near post. And a corner for Hanover. All of this coming from that one mistake from the goalkeeper. Sancho gets it away. But Vicino, that was wild. It's up. Out to Sancho. Across there to Delaney. And Royce is there around the corner. Can Marco Royce oh, set Human Son up for all three goals in a hat trick? No, not yet, is the answer to that question. Barrios. Lucino. Not sure where he's going. Out wide here to Dominic Calvert Lewin, who turned nobody and ran straight into the defender with the Tony Cruz style turn. To Larian. He's done well there to shake off two defenders, but will he get the ball in the box? That's the question. I'm trying to get it off him, and he's just spun Delaney again. Thankfully, Nelson Smedo comes across and makes the tackle. Half an hour to play. Still 2 0. They've been okay, Hanover. Nowhere near as good as Wolfsburg, but they've been okay. Unfortunately, them okay isn't good enough. It's been another example of. Oh, he's done it again there, Berkey, with the underarm bowl out. I'm not keen on that. It's been another case of the AI playing a three-back formation and not doing very well against me with it. I always seem to... Oh, no, it was meant for Royce. Oh, Witzel. That was meant for Marco Royce. It's been another case of the three-back just failing miserably for the AI. It doesn't matter 
what strength of team I have or what strength of team they have, whenever they play a three-back formation, I invariably come away with victory and a decent victory at that. Don't know why the... Uh, oh, why is he slid like that? Oh, I don't know what's going on with my team right now, but one thing I know for sure is that we're 2-0 up and that we're going to get victory here away from home. Guerrero with the corner. We finish it off with a third. Maybe. Oh, I the lady's about to go up. But the defender did really well. Wolf inside there to Witzel. Son on a hat-trick, but still looking for teammates. And Mario Gertz up. Oh, really nice turn, but well blocked by the defender. But it is going to be a 2-0 victory here for us away from home. Those two early goals from Human Son in the first half after 13 and 20 minutes will give us another set of three points and send us top of the Bundesliga once again. Up next for us, we'll have that simulated game against Hertha Berlin and then it's Juventus. We're locked at the top of the table with three other sides on 13 points. The only different being, difference being we have a game in hand. So one would presume that by simulating this, we'll get the result we're after. Thank you, Paco, after less than 60 seconds. That will put us top of the table again by three points if we're able to get that across the line. And Tolian from right back will get us a second. Having a very good season. In the first game I played today against Wolfsburg, I thought Ooh, we might be up against it in the league this season. But actually, as things have transpired throughout the course of September, we're looking like we're going to be very, very strong domestically again. So if we can get the uh, Bundesliga table looking very, very favourable early doors, we can concentrate more on the Pockel and the Champions League and hopefully have some success in cup competition this season, whereas we haven't been able to in previous years. It's Juventus at home for us next. We'll be playing a full-strength side. question is, how strong will they be? What does Juventus' starting lineup look like then in Season 3? A wild Gareth Bale at number 9. Hello. Chiellini's on the bench. Ronaldo through the middle. Piazza on the left and Bale on the right. Dybala in midfield with Fernandes and Matuidi. New signing Savic as well as either a new signing this season or in a previous season. Jose Gaia there at left back as well. Still, despite Ronaldo ageing. In fact, what rating is he at this stage of his career? Still a very strong Juventus starting lineup. Says he's 86. So Cancelo, Benucci, Savic, Gaia, Matuidi's 83. Bruno Fernandes at 88. Dybala's 93 rated. Bale's 86. Ronaldo's 89. And we don't know what Piazza is. 93 for Dybala. Wow. So basically, Dybala and Ronaldo have swapped ratings. But I would presume that Ronaldo's physical stats have certainly dropped off. As is the case with career mode obviously in real life doesn't matter how old Ronaldo is he's still one of the best physical specimens in the game but <laughs> FIFA is FIFA unfortunately not able to find him in Son there with the opening chance of the game Costas out Cancelo there's Cristiano run straight into Lorenzo Insigne on the Conway on the counter James Sancho could be set away here now is he onside Kind of backed into Jose Gaia, and apparently he was onside. Jaden Sancho gives us the lead away from... No, we're at home even. A home against Juventus. Jaden Sancho makes it 1-0. I thought it was offside. He, he tried to hold his run, and then seemed to just kind of back into Jose Gaia as the ball was playing. I wasn't sure whether it was going to be onside or not, but just the right side of the line. Just enough pace to get away from the Spaniard at left back. Just the right finish. 1-0 up. Taken oh. away from Son. Nice interception by Matuidi. And now we're in trouble, actually. Ronaldo finds Dybala back to Cristiano again. But a loose pass from him. So his possession given away. And then a loose pass from me gives it them back again. Bruno Fernandes gets away from one. Here's Cristiano. Good footwork this time. And Fernandes sorts a save out of Burki. That's the best Juventus have offered to this point in the game. They're going to take the corner short. And Guy in early. But will get it away. It's rather poor. Um, corner technique and human son has absolutely destroyed the defenders there but unfortunately for me Xiao Cancelo is the man that's tracking back so very very solid defender but we will get ourselves to half time with a 1-0 lead it seems two minutes added on at the end of the half and we're already well over halfway through that so it's going to be us in front at the break it's Costa into Cristiano don't let him shoot oh Jimenez in the way again off the inside the post from Bruno Fernandes. Douglas. How's he? 
How did Douglas Costa turn me there? That was unreal. It's like he got to the ball and spun and kept it at his feet all in the same motion. Insigne looks for Royce. Now we've got a chance on the counter attack. They struck the inside the post. Oh, if only he had his pace from season one. Oh, the finishing ability as well. Oh, Marco. That could have won us the game. And he's blazed that well high into the stands. Oh, what an opportunity for both sides. Here's Ronaldo out to Bale. Back there to Dybala. Oh, unbelievable footwork from Paolo Dybala, but he's doing it far too deep. Paolo Dybala should never be really played in the position he's in in this game. He's so good in front of goal, and he's 93 rated in this save, that surely you have to start him further forward. Lorenzo Insigne's first goal for me. Oh, and he's dabbing. Really? Lorenzo Insigne's doing I pressed A as well. I just did the default celebration, and he came up with a dab. All right. Dortmund 2, Juventus 0. If they'd have played Dybala further forward, then maybe they might have been more harmful and more dangerous in front of goal. But it's a man formerly of Serie A that gives us a 2-0 lead against the best side in Serie A. And they're not better than me. Not on this occasion, at least. Douglas Costa, ball into the middle. Ronaldo brings it down and has done well to turn away from Axel Witzel. Shot blocked. And out for a corner. They've had the lion's share of possession there, as you can see, 60-40. But no goals for Juventus yet. The ball whipped in and Witzel heads away. Nucci knocks that down. Savic into Douglas Costa. Back inside to Dybala. That took a deflection as well, I think. It did off a Kanji. Be another corner for Juventus. Really turning the screw now, trying to get themselves back in the game. They beat Villarreal in the... Oh, why have you chested that? I told you to clear it. They beat Villarreal in the opening game. Juventus, so they were top of the group. We, of course, drew with Molda. We will go top of the group, though, with this victory. Unless, of course, Molda beat... Unless Molda beat Villarreal, but I believe they were losing at half-time. Wolf will look for Son, who's tripped by the defender, will take the advantage, race away and not score a third, because Chesney makes the stop. Former Tottenham man versus former Arsenal man. And it's the former gunner that comes away on top on that occasion. Ferreira with a delivery. Flicked away by a defender. Akanji will get to that and just knock it down to Nelson Semedo. Rosa Maria Jimenez or taken off him by Douglas Costa. Bruno Fernandes out to Jose Gaia. And here come Juventus on the counter-attack now. Ronaldo's got options but doesn't use any of them. Really underwhelmed with Cristiano Ronaldo in career mode. Every single iteration of FIFA. What a finish by Lorenzo Insigne. Oh, he's dabbing again. Right, I'm going to have to not do the default celebration with Lorenzo Insigne because that's apparently the dab for him. Beautiful finish. How he's able to dig it out like that, I'm not entirely too sure. That's, uh, yeah, that's a FIFA goal, certainly. But brilliant goal. 3-0 Dortmund. Tweedy out to Bernadeschi, who's come off the bench here, but it's not got the time to make the difference, or any sort of difference, really. You wouldn't have thought. Ronaldo, his hold-up play has been good. But, and I was halfway through making this point when Insigne made the, or scored the third goal. Almost every single game on career mode I've ever played against Messi or Ronaldo, they've been easy to play against and had no problems for me defensively whatsoever. I don't know why the best players in the world and the best teams in the world don't play to their max potential in FIFA, but it just doesn't happen. Regardless, or oh, Villarreal battered Molde by four goals to nil. Wow. Strong result for the Spanish. So we'll be on four points. Uh, Villarreal will be on three. Juventus will be on three. And Molde on one. But we've got just Villarreal in the next episode. And then in the, po in the Pockle, it's Hanover. So I'll play Villarreal and play Hanover in the next episode. Is it? Is the... Hanover game two legs, it's not, it's just a single knockout game, right, so I will play, I'm going to try and prioritise the Pockle this season and the Champions League, the league hopefully, thus far it has been the case, hopefully will take care of itself, currently the only remaining undefeated side in the league, Bayern climbing their way back up to eighth and into the top half of the table, but we have a three point lead over a number of other sides, and I'm very pleased with the way things have been going so far, Marco Royce says thank you, I would say thank you to Marco Royce as well. And I'm very, very happy with the start to the season here at Borussia Dortmund. Hopefully you guys are too. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to me so that you don't miss out on any further content. And fingers crossed, 
we could get ourselves a very, very solid October. And if we can beat Villarreal and beat Villarreal well, we might well be looking favourites for the Champions League group title or group uh, leaders by the time we get towards the uh, the knockout round. So a favourable draw there and then theoretically or hopefully an easier route towards the final because we haven't been good enough in the Champions League in the previous two seasons or the Europa League and then Champions League because Chelsea went in the Champions League. Anyway, shut up, Tez. Go away. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.